You don't like cooking? No. I hate cooking and I hate food shopping. It's like it's my favorite. <laughs> You go first? I go first? Okay. I, I pick know. anything I want? Bah. I don't know, so what, Was see. this one lifestyle? Oh, this is a good one for you. Oh. In your opinion, does wearing jewelry help boost self-confidence? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yes? If you feel good, you look good, your day is better, right? Mm -hmm. you, I always feel like great. that. I feel like that with like a red lip. If you put red lipstick on, you're like... Right, you're right, like, I'm not um, big on red lipstick. I mean, neither I, I am I. I'm more comfortable. Like red lip... Like, <laughs> I, I, I go out and I'm like... Mm, yeah. I look at myself and I'm like, yeah, that's not me. You would look great. But I'm saying there's so many things that can really change your mood in, in the day, in life. True. And I think jewelry's absolutely No, but if wonderful. you don't feel like, you know, you go out in yeah. the morning and you feel like you're like, nah, it's, yeah. if, you know, you prep a little bit, you feel more confident yeah. to like take the day. Yeah, for sure. What do you prefer doing when you are with your family? I love cooking. I love feeding. Really? Feeding oh, my that's family. that's one thing I don't like. You don't like cooking? No. I'll I cook hate for it. you. <laughs> I, I hate it. Feel. I know how to cook pasta. It's in my DNA. Yes, like, yes. You, know. if you don't know how to cook I hate, pasta. I hate cooking and I hate food shopping. It's like... It's my favorite! <laughs> I love... So I'll, I'll, to eat, I'll come to you. Don't come to me. No, I, just I love going to a grocery store. Oh, like, that's my happy it. place. It's like, honestly... I like to look at the vegetables. I like to look at the fresh meat. I like oh to think God. about what I'm going to cook. Oh, it's my favorite. It's really? probably the most relaxing is when I'm cooking or shop, grocery shopping. I love it. Really? Uh, <laughs> okay, we're not gonna go together. I'll wait. <laughs> How would you describe APM Monaco jewelry? Well, oh, that's a question for you. I mean, no, I want you. How do you to describe How it? How do you describe it? Uh, well, for me, feminine, mm. for sure. Uh, even though we have unisex pieces, but sophisticated, fashionable, daily. Ooh, that's a good one. I think for me, it's accessible. So it's, it's true. It's very yeah. easy to wear. It's very easy to wear. Like you can wear this with jeans, or you can wear this on a red carpet. I think they're very versatile. I think it's also very playful line like there's a bunch of yeah fun. it's also about layering mix yes, and matching but you're like gold with green but then you have you know the you know the stones with the blue and like there's just all these different combinations that are so fun and that makes it very modern tell us about the eva longoria per apm monaco shoot happening in a few hours no oh, now it's happening now it's happening <laughs> She's ready. i'm excited i'm so excited to be in monaco and i love that that you know your the origin of the line is here because just the way monaco uh presents itself in the world is like glamour you know a destination people want to come to True. there's like i think monaco and i think desire you know like oh that's a very sexy glamorous place but yeah so today we're shooting a bunch of fun pieces i think we're shooting like 12 things well, maybe more than that we more, have a lot maybe. you'll see you'll yeah. see it's, yes, I love I love it all. I'm so excited. And I'm fast, so. <laughs> Let's do it here. Let's go in the bath. I want to do one in a bubble bath with just this. This. Ooh. Oh, see, that was good. And then in a bubble oh. bath. I think we should do this in a bath. Yeah. I know. We have a lot we'll of do that. <laughs> we're going to add that up. We have that a lot. planned, but let's add it up. We're going to add it. Tell us about your latest family vacation. No, we did a safari with the kids and the family. Where? In, Where? In, in Tanzania. In Tanzania. It was awesome because oh. it's been on my wish list for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. but it was never the right time because either the kids were too little and I really wanted yes. them to enjoy, and yeah. then you no, know, we're in work and family, yeah. so it wasn't. Uh, and it was in my bucket list: safari and the air balloon. That's two under the hot air balloon. Yeah, and that's oh, the two things. I have zero uh, desire. Really? Zero. That was that was on my bucket list. It's the colors, the animals. It was you awesome. Every. The cars are like, you know, those Jeeps are like open. Uh -huh. And then they stop and they're like, the guide and the lion is like literally there. right there. <laughs> and I'm like, is it that we're, we're okay with that? Yeah. Like, How's that? He's not no, good. it's okay. And I'm like, yeah, but if he jumps and the like, it, like, you know. Yeah, it, yeah. what's the protocol? <laughs> and, um, and they're, you know, so used to it that this is really where it hits you like, nature and you know animals if you don't bother them yeah. they're actually not aggressive at all because i mean we were like 
bear yeah. and cheetahs and you know yeah. lions and I want to do that. I want to do yeah. a safari and, and the, wanna, the, the, the kids the kids really liked it so oh, I, yeah. I was I was really happy with this one what is your best childhood memory I have so many you know I grew up on a ranch with Ooh, chickens, horses? And horses and pigs and cows and oh, we would go get the eggs in the morning and we that's cool yeah I love, so I have so many great memories of just being with my grandparents and my dad and, um, you know, feeding a baby cow with, you know, a bottle feeding a baby cow or uh, running around with chickens. So, yeah. As a kid, it's awesome. Yeah, and then as a kid. teenager, you know, you're yeah, like, no, and then I, yeah, then I, you know, like, I don't know why am I here? No. <laughs> no, I have great memories. And especially like Christmas. I have oh, just great memories when I was a child. Like our Christmases were so full because there's so many of us. So, like, a lot of cousins. And, okay. And, and that's a lot the of the best way to do Christmas, yeah, right? Yeah, a lot of eating and. So most of most of my best memories are about about holidays. What is your sports routine? Ooh. What is your sports? You're so fit. I do a lot of yoga. Oh, you do versions. Uh, yeah, I it it actually it's not even a sports routine for me now. It has become like my your lifestyle. Time. Yes, yeah. So I get cranky if I actually if don't, don't practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's my first thing in the morning. Yeah. So I get out of the house and either I go like uh, practice or. I started also inversions. I love handstand. Yeah, yeah. So I have classes of that. And recently, I actually started fencing. Really? Because I put my I, I I put my son to it, and we went to get the the whole the whole thing. To, yeah. And then I was like, it looks good. It looks fun. Yeah, it looks fun. It, what is that? And so I was like, do you do any adults like one on one? Because yeah. I can't do it with the eleven years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started. It's fun. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a morning person oh, you're not? at all. We're exact so, opposites. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. I'm a morning person here. Yeah, my I love like to that. cook, you hate to cook. I love, I, no, you like hot air balloons, I hate hot air balloons. <laughs> I was like, so, we, but uh, we're gonna my, be very good friends. My, 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 my <laughs> husband's like that. Like he wakes up in the morning and he's like, yeah, full on and starts talking and asking questions. I'm like, yes. Shh. Get out of the house. <laughs> That's, I think it's uh, my, I work out every morning. And for me, yeah, it's my me time. It's like, if I don't get that cause, hour. Cause, cause yes, Because the, the, when you therapy. work the whole day or you're busy yeah. the whole day, then at night you come home, the kids are yeah. also demanding yeah. your time and your yeah. attention, right? So, but I also don't like the adrenaline rush at night to go to bed. Like, I need to do it in the morning. Oh, I can't. I can't be bothered. Like, after the office, you ask yeah. me, like, to go, like, go no. for a workout, and I'm like... No, it won't um, happen. I'm, it won't happen. No. no, no, no. What? Ooh, that's... Uh, that, we can we can probably see it for an hour. What is the best part of being a mom? Oh. When you're a mom, you know. When you know, you know. I know. Yeah. Um, uh, I think the best part about being a mom is experiencing unconditional love like what that really means. I, you know, that, that's one thing you can only yeah. actually feel, understand as a when child, you become right? one, right? Because when, when I was yeah. younger, you know, these people say, you'll see yeah. your mom, and I'm like, yeah, f whatever. Yeah, and, and then it, it is true, yes. it is true. When you have that little thing, you're like, as much as you can love your husband, you're like, whatever, yeah, your friends. but it's different. It's like kind of like this, Yeah. he cries, you're in pain. Yeah. Like, you know, well, like, it's like your this. heart is outside of your body. Exactly. Like, it's, ah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, but that's for me is the best part about, about my son is he teaches me unconditional love every day. Just go like, okay, true. this is insane. And patience, right? Because they kind of yes. push. Oh my gosh, so much patience. They yeah. make you They grow. test you. They, they, they make, make you grow. grow. Well, this is probably for me, but what's the last lie you told your children? Uh, white lies or white lies. I don't like to lie. Okay, so that's one thing. I don't I, like to lie. I, I Usually... don't like to lie because I that's what I tell them all the time because sometimes they do lie to me, but you know it's like those little lies yeah. that you can tell because they're they're young. But lies it's something that I really don't cope you don't with. Like I don't I don't like them. it. Yeah. Uh mine recently, which I don't know if this will make sense when this comes out, but mine's about um Santa. Oh, for sure. Yes. You know, one day I'm in that phase where he's like, "Do I tell him Santa's not real? No, no, no. Do he's, I he's leave five, the magic? Right? He's only five, but I'm like, oh, no, how I long don't. am I gonna keep up this charade? Yeah. How many no, years? Well, does it I go kept on? it a much longer than that. My my daughter last year was still into Santa, writing the letter, and then my son this year because they're one year apart, right? And then my son this is like. Mia, come on, you know Santa doesn't exist. And then they called me, I was in the car, FaceTime, and I have the both of them. And, you're like, uh... and Mia's like, Mama, is it true? 
So day is not real, and I'm like, well, it's just I don't have no. And my son Andre is like, can you please tell her because this is getting ridiculous now. I mean, come on. And just like, but you know, like don't ruin it for her. Yeah. Like, but I had them both, so I didn't know which way to go. So I was like, I can't hear you guys, tunnel. So that's probably a lot. <laughs> that's like, I know, sorry, that connection's bad. <sighs> and so at home I was like, why do you have to ruin it for your sister? Like, yeah. you know, like she has a whole life not to be. He looked at me was like, mama, come on. We're only one year apart. I mean, she's almost 11. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, you need to God. tell her. I'm like, okay. So, uh, yeah. No. So, Santa, it's, but Santa, it's a good lie. That's a good lie. Yeah. Can you share a bit about your vision for the future and any upcoming project or goals you're excited about? I'm excited to direct more because I like being behind the camera. So, I have a lot of projects I'm attached to direct and, um, and then I'm um, back on TV. I have a show with Apple that'll be out in the spring. And so, yeah, it's really good. It's in Spanish from Spain. Um, it's amazing. It's funny. It's a comedy. It's really funny. Very funny. I think people will like it. Okay. How do you find the balance between your professional life and your family life? Well, that's for you too. That's for you. Uh, do you? You're a, an you? entrepreneur. Yeah, you, well, because you you're not. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, no, I, for so me, that's people, a question. Did, people yeah. always say like, oh, once you have children, it must be so hard. And for me, it was the opposite. Once I had Santi, everything became easier because now he's the priority. You know, okay, yeah, true. Like, if it doesn't fall around his schedule, around his needs, around his priorities, then it's an easy no for me. I can say no. Is there a balance, really? Mm -hmm. Like every it's time a I get this, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, every time I get this question, is like it, it depends on the days. It depends yeah. on. Plus, uh, we work. It's a family business, so mm -hmm. we already work, work together. with family. We're all with. I mean, we're always all together. Yeah. So it's more like try to find the time to. Uh, enjoy if we can say that everything like spending time quality time with the kids yeah but also you know being productive and do do my yeah. job and at the same time try also to see friends without that came later on with age at one point i learned to say no no yeah because you can't do it all yeah. and then even if you try to do it all you don't enjoy it and then yeah. you're like you know and that that goes back to what i do in the morning and yoga and all of yeah. that i need my me time to actually yeah. be productive and also to be to feel well around people mm -hmm. i don't know like if you're tired or you're like you know you're cranky yeah. even if you're physically there you're like eh. yeah you know so you kind of need to find for me that balance of i don't feel like going out for dinner or if yeah. you know i don't feel like doing something i just learned to say no. Well, in your opinion, what is the most timeless piece of clothing, the one that will never leave your wardrobe? I think a good black blazer will always Yeah, be like style. a tuxedo jacket, a tuxedo or like jacket. a nice leather yeah. jacket. Or, yeah, yeah. Yes, the one I wore last night was a Saint Laurent tuxedo jacket. It's yeah, it's, it's yeah, timeless. But the other thing or is like, like a Chanel, like, you know, yes. there, are there are some pieces, pieces, pieces that you know that you will never yeah. be bored of, but do you want to wear them on a daily yeah. basis? Maybe not, no, you know what I mean? No, I and uh, I think, you know, style evolves, but there are some classic pieces that I like to invest in and be yeah, like, true. I know I'm gonna have this forever. Yeah. And if I had had a daughter, I'm like, this is going to my yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I don't have true. a daughter. Are you sensitive to astrology? Oh, no. Not really. No? Not really. Yeah, I sometimes don't know. I go like, oh, what sign, what, what, yeah. what, what star sign are you? Yeah, just what to, zodiac you know? sign? But uh, I don't What think, are you? What zodiac sign? Uh, Aries. Oh, my husband's an Aries. April? Yeah. yeah. April fourth. Oh, yeah. husband's April. Very stubborn. Yes. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you? Do you? Yeah. I don't know them. I, I don't. I don't study them. So when people go Scorpio, yeah. Oh yeah. And I was like, I don't know what that means. You're but Scorpio? I do. No, I'm Pisces. Oh, oh I'm my Pisces. husband's my husband's Pisces. Yeah. March fifteen. What are you? Uh, what my husband nineteen. March nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. We avoid conflict. Uh, we swim with the stream. Yeah. We go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm easygoing, um, but it depends on like you're rising and you're. My my assistant is very into it and she does like really? the thing and the chart, yeah. But I'm not not someone. Yeah. Like, no. According to you, when is the ideal time to practice yoga? Oh, in the morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, yeah preferably with the sun rising. 
I, oh, that's a bit too early for me. I, you know, I said I know yeah. it's not a morning person, yeah. so yeah. It, dep oh, yeah. it depends. If it's in the winter, you gotta the get the sun. You gotta get the sun. You gotta get the sun rising. You gotta get the first rays of light. And in the summer, the sun rises really early. Yeah, the summer <laughs> yeah, is pretty yeah. early. No, but in the morning for sure. For yeah. sure. Et voilà. Et voilà. I'll go for a clap. Allez, clap. High five. Clap. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.